Hey guys, so this weekend my sisters, two of our friends and myself went to the States for a country concert and while we were there we managed to go into a couple of stores so I thought I would show you my little haul of what I picked up while I was there. Uh, the first store that we went into was Target. I'm a huge Target fan and I'm so excited that it's coming to Canada but it's not until 2013 so any chance I get to go to Target when I go to the States I'll take it for sure. I'll show you the um, sort of like non-beauty products I got first and then I'll show you the beauty products. So the first three things I bought were actually these bracelets here. The first one here has like a turquoise rope with, um, it's kind of like a gunmetal y like brushed silver detail and then these fake diamonds. Um, the next is another like rope one, it's black rope and it has three strands of beads and they're kind of I don't think they're rose gold, I would actually call them um, silver gold. I don't even know if there is silver gold, but that's what it looks like to me. And the last one here is just like a turquoise bracelet and it has like a dangling kind of chain coming from it and then like a little peace sign. I'm not a huge fan of the peace sign, I might take that off, but I'm really into bracelets that have like the dangling bits from them. I don't know, I just really like that right now. Um, next, we're actually a pair of heart sunglasses which some people might think is weird. I know this is kind of like five-year-old, but I saw um, a YouTube video recently by Megan Hart's makeup, and she was saying how heart glasses are kind of coming back in, and she put them on and they look so cute on her. So when I saw these, they have like this sort of like tie-dye floral detailing, I was like, I need these. Um, wouldn't wear them with every outfit, but I think with like kind of like beachy wavy hair and maybe um, a longer bohemian kind of skirt, I think they would look really cute. So I'll just show you what they look like on. So those are them. Like I said, not everybody's cup of tea, but I'm into them. In terms of beauty products, the first thing I picked up was the Aussie um, Three Minute Miracle Moist Deep Conditioner. Um, I'd heard a lot of really great things about this and it's extremely cheap. I think it was like $2.97. Um, but unfortunately, I haven't been able to find this in Canada yet. So I wanted to give it a try. I did try it on my hair this morning and it was okay. It was kind of like any other of the deep conditioners I've tried, but for the price, um, I definitely think it's worth it. Cause I mean, you can get deep conditioners that are like 20 to $30. Next, in terms of beauty things, I just picked up a staple. These are the uh, Yes to Cucumber Facial Wipes. Um, these are my all time favorite facial wipes. They're soothing, they're thick, they feel nice. They don't leave your skin sticky. Um, they're good if you are too lazy to wash your face that night. I feel like they really do get all of the makeup off. Um, so yeah, if you haven't tried these and you're looking for a good facial wipe, I would definitely recommend those ones. Next is something that I wanted to get the last time I was in the States but couldn't quite figure out what my color was. Um, but after reading some reviews and stuff, I figured out what I think the color would be, so I picked it up. And it is the um, Revlon 24 Hour, I think it's called their Color Stay Whipped Cream Foundation. Now these have not come out in Canada yet, I'm not sure why because they've been out in the States for a while. But it really is like a whipped foundation. It's kind of got a weird consistency but it feels really nice, I've tried it on the back of my hand so far. Um, and I've heard like amazing reviews about this so I'm definitely looking forward to trying this and I will definitely keep you posted on what I think about it. Uh, the next is another product that I absolutely love. I have almost all of the colors but I didn't have this one. They are the um, L'Oreal Color Riche uh, Caress Lipsticks. It's kind of like a lip balm because they're really, really smooth and creamy, but they are um, lipsticks. Uh, this one is in the color Violet Chiffon, which is like a really bright, kind of deep purple. And for some reason, I don't know why, all of a sudden in the last week, I started loving like purple lips. Like I want everything purple. Um, lipstick, lip gloss, lip balm, so I grabbed those. These ones are super moisturizing, if I didn't already say that, I don't remember. Uh, the last thing I picked up from Target was actually a Sonia Kashuk blush, and it is in the color pink, which is kind of weird, because I would say this is much more of a nude brown, but they decided to call it pink, and it looked a bit like Tarte's exposed blush, so I just wanted to try it out, see what it's like, see if it is similar to that, it might be a better, cheaper dupe. Um, I do have another one of her beautifying blushes um, and it's really nice. I've been wearing that all month. It's one of my monthly favorites. So 
I am excited to give this one a try. So my next stop was actually at Sephora. I had actually called ahead of time and put a bunch of things on hold because Sephora in the States is so much cheaper than Sephora Canada and I just cannot bring myself to make big purchases at the Sephora here in Canada or in my city because it seems ridiculous when I go to the state so often. Um, I also had a 10% off VIB coupon, so I wanted to get everything I had been kind of looking at um, in one group so that it was cheaper in the States, and then I also got the 10% off on top of that. The first thing that I picked up was actually the new um, Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation. I got a bunch of samples of this um, from the Sephora here where I live and really, really like the foundation. It's very light. It's kind of a weird consistency and I find it dries very quickly so I only do like a little part of my face at a time. Um, but it's got good coverage and actually the first day I was wearing it I got a number of compliments that my face looked fairly clear. So I was like, whoa, that never happens. Uh, the only problem with this for me is that, and here I'll show you what the bottle looks like. Um, is that I'm right between shades. So I ended up having to get two shades, which I've never done before. Um, I had to get 2.0 and 3.5, which you would think, okay, why didn't you get like 2.5 or 3? Um, one, they don't have 2.5, and 3 is extremely, extremely like yellow based. So I got one that was kind of a lighter yellow and one that was a bit of a darker pink, and mixed together, I find that it looks nice. Or like, for instance, today, like I put the lighter here to cover up some of my redness and then did like the darker kind of all around so that it kind of matched my neck because I'm a little bit more tanned, Ooh, a little bit. Um, so yeah, I grabbed those two. The next thing that I grabbed from there was just another staple and it is the Urban Decay Primer Potion. It's just my eye primer of choice. This stuff is like a miracle worker. Before I discovered um, eyeshadow primer, my shadow was off within like 20 minutes. Like I used to have people say to me, you never wear makeup. I thought like, I love makeup. I put my makeup on every day, but nobody could see it because literally everything melted off my face and especially my eyes. So I just got like the bigger squeezy tube one of this. I find it way easier to use than the one that has like the screw cap and the little wand. And yeah, I think this will be like a product I use forever. I have tried other um, eye primers, including like the, I can't remember what the Too Faced one is called or the Tarte one. Anyway. They haven't been as good as this one here. So this is definitely my all time favorite. Next is something that I also tried here in Canada and really liked and I was gonna buy it just cause like I was tempted to get it right away but luckily they didn't have the right color for me so I got it when I went to the States and these are the new um, Too Faced Color Drenched Lip Creams. They're just like lipsticks but they're extremely moisturizing and extremely creamy. And I got mine in the shade I Want Candy which is kind of like, it looks kind of like a neutrally coral pink, but it goes on fairly bright without being like crazy, like that's only a summer lip, you can't wear this the rest of the year. Um, like I said, these are so creamy and smooth and they just feel very moisturizing. I haven't put this one on yet, but just from the ones that I tried in the store, they just felt really, really nice. And then the final thing that I got from Sephora is not something I had on hold. I actually had a Tarte blush put on hold, but when I swatched it, I thought, uh, I have too much that's already similar. So I saw this one, and this is one of the Buxom, um, I think it's called the H True Hue Blush, and this is in the color Seduction. Now when I was in the store, I think probably because the store lights had been shining on it, but the sample they had was way lighter than this. It was like a really light powdery pink. And surprisingly, I don't have a blush that's like that, and so that's why I purchased it. Now this looks a lot brighter than the one did in the store but I have kind of swatched and put it on my cheeks and um, it's still, it's nice and light. It isn't like anything I already have. So I haven't tried the Buxom blushes yet. I have a bunch of their other products and absolutely love them. So I am excited to see how this one works. So that, oh no, there's one last thing. As part of a VIB they had, if you bought like $35 or more worth of products, you got like one of their little VIB kits for free. It has different samples like there's a Stila um, Passion Fruit Crush Lip and Cheek Stain. There's a Sephora Instant Moisturizer. There is um, something that's kind of cool. I never heard it before. It's an Anastasia. It's called Lash Genius. Apparently you can add this to any mascara and it will make that mascara waterproof. So I thought that was kind of cool. I don't know if I'm going to keep everything myself or if I'm going to add some things to a giveaway or give it to friends and family. I haven't decided yet, so I haven't opened anything from there. 
Anyway, that is everything that I bought while I was away um, in the States. Thanks so much for watching this video and I will see you next time. Bye!